So I've been looking at some options to get away from the GoPro. I currently have the GoPro 12 right here, and this is the Insta360 Ace Pro. I've been looking for options to get away from the GoPro. Mine is always freezing up, even with the 10, the 11, always locking up, overheating, etc. So I watched some videos on this guy, the Insta360 Ace Pro, and from what I've seen, the colors are, are really nice. It works great in low light. So I said, well, if it's at least on par with the, the GoPro 12, then it's going to be good for what we do, right? Out there digging, getting some nice scenery shots, as well as showing our finds. Uh, that's definitely not the case. So when I was testing this camera out, and I watched a whole bunch of videos, I wanted to see, you know, how it did up close, right? Because that's what we do is, is we want to be able to show the find after we dig it and get a good... Get a good uh, video of it now action cams they're not known to be good at up close but this insta360 is is even worse than the gopro uh the gopro i've i've been lucky with the gopro i use the media mod and you know able to hook up my dji mics and i'm able to get a picture and you know a, a decent video and a good picture of a target you know that's an old buckle right there i was pretty shocked with the insta 360 ace pro only being out for a few months and their main competition being this guy that the image quality is so much worse so i wanted to show you an example of that just in case you're in the same boat and you're like hey i'm going to grab one of those because it's got some nice features it's got the the insta 360's got the flip up screen it has the ability to pause and resume which is really cool you can pause a clip and then resume it so maybe this to you isn't going to be a big deal but for you know for what we do out in the woods and showing our finds um or if you're a park hunter or anything and you want to show your finds it's it's a deal breaker for for me anyway so i'm just going to show you a couple examples so this is a buckle here with the gopro 12 and then that's the buckle with the insta 360 that might not look too bad it's when we get into some details here so here's a bobber dime with the gopro and here's that bobber dime with the insta 360 it's just a blurry mess it doesn't matter where i hold it up it just is not focus for me as there it is on the gopro 12 there it is on the insta 360. all right so here's a col another colonial this is a colonial buckle very nice details on there that's with the gopro and that's with the insta 360. this is a civil war button on the gopro 12 and on the insta 360. And, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I could do to make it work if I hold it, you know, I can hold it up pretty close to the GoPro. It's a, it's a blurry mess like that with the Insta360, Insta no matter really where I go, it's pretty blurry. This has some details, it's just to show some writing. This is a iffy signals piece of silver that Pockrat Pat sent me years ago, and that's it with the GoPro. And that's it with the Insta360 Ace Pro. And this here is an Indian head penny. Some nice details on it. With the GoPro. And with the Insta360 Ace Pro. So, you know, it definitely, from the get-go, it sucks getting away from uh, GoPro. Because you have to buy this. you got to buy the mic adapter. All the batteries again. Because they're different batteries. And then for me to run into this, I'm definitely... You know, not impressed here with the image quality. Let me show you my ring. So here's my ring on the GoPro. And here's my ring on the Insta360, which is very, very blurry. Not going to make a good camera for showing our finds, that's for sure. So I just wanted to show that before anyone uh, jumped over to the Insta360. Like I said, it's got some really nice features. Maybe that is not a deal breaker for you, but I like to keep it to where I'm with one camera and not have to take out my phone for better up close shots and even though the gopro is not great at up close it gets the job done where uh this you know this insta 360 here is not that impressive for sure especially with the detail i'm getting from its main competitor right now other than that i think the overall image and video is clearer on the Insta360. If you've seen any videos, it is really awesome at night shots. But 
the up close with the GoPro and the Insta360. Yeah, the up close is just not good in my opinion. Thanks for watching.